Morris Daly, your Frugal Tech, and I wanted to give you a short review of Zoho CRM. Now, this is a free CRM application, uh, up to three users. It's very, very cool, uh, very, very powerful, very, very easy to use. Now, if you've looked at a web-based sales and marketing platform, such as Salesforce or Microsoft CRM, those things are real expensive. Uh, Microsoft CRM, uh, 55 bucks a month per user. Salesforce is $75 a month per user for their professional version. And then you have all these add-ons you need to purchase as well. Um, they're great applications. They certainly have their place in the world. They do a lot of business. But you know, small business folks simply don't have those kind of deep pockets. So we're kind of forced to uh, maybe look at some other stuff. And that's what I was talking about, uh, the Zoho CRM system. Now, when you're looking at CRM, and if you understand what it does, CRM is basically uh, customer relationship managed. So you need a way to manage your, your customers, your, comp your, your accounts that you work with, the leads. Uh, maybe you need some type of help desk solution. Maybe you're managing products and uh, price books, quotes, invoices, all this sort of stuff. Um, and, and so it can get really, uh, really complex. And when you go out looking for these solutions, um, you know, it can get very, very expensive. You basically, you have two ways you're going to do it. You're either going to do it on-premise. That means you're going to install it on a server and run clients. Or you're going to look at a web-hosted version. So uh, the thing I like about a web-hosted solution, of course, is that especially when you have remote workers and that sort of thing, anywhere you go, if you have Internet access, well, you can get access to your, uh, your CRM system. So we're talking about Zoho. It's very simple to set up a free account there. Uh, it is web-based. Now, you need to know that it comes in three editions. The free version, which allows up to three users at no charge. Then there's a professional version for $12 a month. And then the enterprise version, which is $25 a month. Now, with that, you can get an optional plug-in for Microsoft Outlook. And the reason being is that Zoho CRM doesn't have a web-based email client with it. You can do some outbound email through it. But as far as the inbound stuff, you're going to need that Outlook plugin in order to get those inbound emails from your clients, prospects, and leads, uh, and get those in sync with, with uh, your CRM system. Okay, um, the free version, I'll tell you what it doesn't do. Number one, it doesn't have what's called autoresponders. So if you're looking to do a web-based uh, form, a lead form, uh, you're going to have to step up to the professional version in order to you know, generate an automatic email to a new lead, something like that. It also doesn't have the email-based marketing. Now, speaking of that, Zoho will limit you to 250 outbound emails a day if you have the professional version. So it's not going to be a tool to do large email blasts. It's really not what it's designed for. Uh, it also lacks, and I'm talking about the free version, also lacks user roles, groups, and data sharing as well. Now, these are more sophisticated security measures uh, that you would employ in a CRM system. Well, with the free version, you're not going to get those. Now, there doesn't seem to be a limit on the actual data that you host in uh, Zoho CRM. However, when you go to start storing things like files and attaching Word documents and that sort of thing, there is a very tight limit on that, and uh, there's additional fees for the amount of storage that you use for that. One of the big problems that I personally have with Zoho is that you can't do drip marketing with it. Now, drip marketing means that, you know, perhaps that you're sending out a series of emails based on a certain amount of time. Maybe you send out email number one today, wait two weeks, send out a second email, uh, wait two more weeks, send out a third email, etc. That's not uh, possible in Zoho CRM. So that was kind of a turn off to me. Uh, I use drip marketing. You may not, so that may not be a showstopper for you. Uh, again, as I said, the professional version maxes out at only 250 outbound emails a day. Again, this may not be a showstopper for you. There doesn't appear to be an IMAP uh, web-based uh, web uh, email client with Zoho CRM. You can send an outbound email, but you're going to be pretty much stuck with using the Outlook plugin. So, you know, if you uh, maybe have some uh, users out there on Macs or so forth, I think they're going to be kind of left out on the cold as far as that's concerned. 
Um, the workflows, there is some workflows with the free version. There's one workflow per module. So there's one for contacts, there's one workflow for leads, etc. But they're limited just to tasks. So you couldn't set up a workflow maybe to schedule a, a, a phone call and then send out an email. That it won't do. It's strictly going to be based on the number of tasks. And if you want a workflow that would automatically update the values of fields, well, you've got to have the professional version to do that. Now, importing data into this CRM system is pretty straightforward, and it does have a pretty attractive interface. Actually, it looks awful lot like an open source CRM system called VTiger. So, it features things like account, contact, lead, case management, reports, dashboards. You can generate quotes, uh, work with vendors, your products, do invoicing through uh, Zoho CRM. What about accounting integration? Will it work with QuickBooks? Right now, the answer is no, although I understand that a Outlook plugin may be under in, in beta at this point in time to, uh, to talk to uh, Zoho. So there's no integration also at this time, or no obvious integration to me, with other Zoho applications, including uh, Zoho Docs or Spreadsheet application, Zoho Mail. Now, I imagine that this is uh, being discussed and being worked on, but understand right up front doing things like mail merges and that sort of thing it's going to be a little bit difficult with Zoho. So at, finally that gives me down to technical support. Now I did have a chance to contact a live individual technical support but due to language differences you know, we couldn't really communicate that clearly so I had to send their support team an email. Unfortunately after five days I've yet to hear back from technical support. This would make me sort of leery about the service if I were paying for the professional or the enterprise versions of Zoho. I would recommend Zoho CRM to a very small business, maybe with some remote users out there, whose CRM needs were more simple and basically to task uh, management, contact management, that sort of thing. But if you're really looking for a more sophisticated type application uh, for sales and marketing, things like drip uh, campaigns and all that, at this current state, I would say C uh, Zoho CRM really probably is not going to, shouldn't be your first choice. Well, hey, I'm Bruce Nail, your Frugal Tech, and uh, always enjoy hearing from you. If you like this video, feel free to rate it, leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Also, make sure to visit us at our website, www.frugal, that's F R U G A L brothers.com. And remember, if it's in your shop and not making you money or saving you money, get it out of there. I'll talk to you later.